Hey guys, <clears throat> hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. We're going to be playing Tenchu Z. Uh, this, this is a good game, a really good game. We're not going to load game, we're going to go for a new one. Um, I, like most people of my age, actually uh, dabbled a little bit with the Tenchu series back on the PlayStation, but that was a very long time ago, and I don't think I ever actually owned any of the Tenchu games myself, but I did uh, see quite a lot of the first one, at least. Uh, not that I can really remember much of it at all. Uh, back on the original PlayStation. Now, it's a series that obviously I knew about quite heavily, but it, was, it wasn't it was really until Tenchu Z came out on the Xbox 360 that I really played it myself. And when this came out in 2007, my god, <laughs> did I play this game uh, just a little bit. Uh, funny enough, back in 2007, I was still living at my parents, I believe. <coughs> well, my mum's. And... I bought the 360 because I always used to buy the new consoles. Uh, my ex was living with me and my brother as well. And we, all three of us, we had three different um, profiles, obviously. And we played the absolute fucking shit out of this. Now, this game is big. This game is very very big and I haven't touched this game since I mean look that this oh look there we go I guess since January 2008 so that's what 13 years ago uh, and some change so I'm gonna be very rusty at this game um, it's really good now not only did we um, now I never completed it you might be able to notice here because there's, I think there's 50 missions in this game. Uh, I never completed it myself. Wow, I've got over a thousand stealth kills. Um, so there's still some achievements left to do. Uh, yeah, there's 50 missions. And each mission you can play three times. <clears throat> you can play easy, medium, and hard. Uh, and we did, we did the lot on various profiles. Uh, myself, I think I got to like 40 missions or maybe 30 missions. I'm not really sure. 30 missions, something like that. I may have actually almost completed the game. I can't remember. Uh, but like I said, we used to uh, play this quite a lot on each other's profiles. And I used to watch this game for hours and hours and hours. This game was our jam for pretty much an entire summer. Or it might have been a winter, not really sure. Um, so, the other day I managed to walk into uh, my local game shop. And they had it for a fiver. So I thought, yeah... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. I just saw the title gleaming on, on the shelf there and I was just like, oh my god. I am not leaving this shop without this game. So, we're going to hit up. Now, as far as I know, this game doesn't tie itself in to any uh, prior Tenchu game. I don't think so. It's its own self-contained thing. So, for shits and giggles, we're going to be female. Because uh, I was actually looking up a few LPs of this last night. Um, and it was actually quite interesting. Because I saw lots of tips and things. That, I mean, stuff that I either didn't know or I'd forgotten about. But everyone plays as a male character. So we're going to switch it up a bit and go female. Now, the faces are pretty ghastly, uh, to be honest. Now, it doesn't really matter what your character looks like. So we can have something like pretty... <laughs> <laughs> oh it's amazing now from what i can remember actually there's uh yeah sure there's way more faces and clothing styles for male characters right oh god i remember yeah there's li there's five styles of clothing for the female ninja now if we go to male there's, hang on, I said male, damn it. 
Oh, there's still only five. Interesting. Maybe when I was playing around with this, I just unlocked a lot more. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Because you can unlock clothing and whatnot in this game. Uh, there's actually quite a lot of skills and upgrades you can get in this game. Uh, and we're going to be primarily playing this game on medium difficulty. And that's because you need to unlock some of the higher end skills, really. Uh, and passive abilities to make hard uh, a little bit less ridiculous. So that's what we're going to do. That'll do for our character. Now, this... This is kind of important. Um, we have vitality, which is how much health we have. That's not super important because we don't really want to get into combat in this game. You can, and standard enemies aren't that hard to take out. But we kind of want to go stealth, really. Uh, strength is how much damage that we actually do with our melee combat. I'm not really sure how because we have a katana blade, which is um, you know pretty sharp. Not really sure how strength really uh, matters, but hey. And we have agility, which is our speed. How quickly we can move around. We also have equipment slots, because we can take items into battle. Uh, we can also find items, uh, kind of like around the levels as well. And whatever you don't use, you take back to your village with you. Because you have your own ninja village in this game. Now, calling it a ninja village is kind of a stretch it's uh, a glorified 3d menu uh it's totally and utterly pointless to be honest but hey it is what it is so what we're gonna do we're gonna knock a few points off the old vitality and strength there and we want maximum running speed because uh, we're a ninja we need to move you know if you've got to rely on your strength for one-on-one -on -one combat you generally fucked up vitality well in an ideal world we're never going to be in uh anywhere where we can get hit so I mean, that's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, I'm very rusty. So, there we go. But, yeah, in an ideal world, we're going to be running, hiding, s sneaking, stabbing, and slicing from the darkness. Uh, at least, that's the theory. Now, we also get to uh, pick a partner character. Uh, Keijimaro is his name. We can actually call him whatever we want. In fact, let's rename him just because it's fun. I don't think we can rename our main character for some reason. So we're going to call him... Uh, let's go for Titanus. Yes. There we go. Titanus. Don't think too hard about that. Uh, face. What can we go for for the male? So this is made by FromSoft. Oh, jeez. Yeah, go on. Uh, oh, what are the rest like? It's a very bold, serious looking man right there. Aw, he looks like he's about to cry. He looks like an anime character where every time he kills an opponent, he sheds a single tear. I'm pretty sure that is from an anime, actually. Um, oh dear. <laughs> smug bastard. Oh, we could go with a smug bastard, I suppose. Yes, yeah, so this is made by From Software, the same company that makes the Souls-like games. And uh, another game that I really want to cover at some point in the uh, 360, which is Chrome Hounds. Now, uh, oh, let's go for Smugasaurus Rex. Now, what's interesting about this game is just how well it runs on the 360 it's like perfect which is quite interesting because back when i tried dark souls out on the 360 yeah uh it's a slideshow it runs at like 10 frames a second it's you know it's kind of funny that we give so many games flack these days when they come out and they have frame rate problems yeah you go back and play dark souls on the 360 and, and, and come back to me how that game was actually released and sold for actual money is beyond me but hey there we go i think the other souls games were better it was just dark souls one is so fucking rough uh so here we go we're on we can 100 percent this game uh we're probably not going to do that for the purpose of this lp because to 100 percent the game you need to complete every level on easy, medium, and hard. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Um, that, that's 
that's over a hundred hours of, of content if I remember correctly um, now the the difference between easy medium and hard from what I can remember as well is basically the enemies are slightly tougher and they can see you a little bit better I think I don't think there's any more enemies there's no different layouts or anything like that so you literally have to play the the levels three times uh, so ugh, yeah we're gonna go stereo sound because we want a headset auto target I guess wait a minute what's all this shit support function for items with a targeting site press strafe button to target site on enemy yeah maybe sure I guess subtitles we want on blood uh, it's a tension game yeah we want that uh, ninja seal we definitely want on gamer tag is irrelevant and save settings auto save definitely on okay good to go <coughs> Yeah, so we're a, a ninja. We've chosen the path of shadows. I have a feeling he's the ninja from, uh, or the male ninja from the original Tenchu games. I could be totally and utterly wrong about that, but I think that's the rub. So this is the game. And as you can see, it's actually quite good looking and it plays well. Uh, there's no slowdown or jankiness. It is just 30 FPS, but you know, it's a, a, a fucking 360 game. So we have uh, our main running state here, which we use for moving around. We can sneaky sneak, um, all silent like, and we can roll. Rolling is silent as well, I believe. So we have different uh, abilities that we can use in this running mode. And we can also get our sword out. Now we're in combat mode, which changes things up a little bit. But as I said, I'm very rusty, so I do kind of need to do this training mode. We can also get up against walls and things and do lots of context sensitive kills. Uh, there's a lot, a surprising amount you can do in this game. So that green symbol is showing us how close we are to an enemy and that's what that number is under our light bar there as well. We can see the number going up and down. Uh, the higher the number, the closer we are to our target. And there's the rube there. Right, let's go cut a neck. So stealth kill light. If the stealth kill light is on, we can grab them. Once we've grabbed them, we can move them around. We can push B to knock them out. Trouble is, if you knock out an enemy, I don't think they're knocked out for very long. I, I don't know why that's like why you do that. It's just better to just yeah, kill them. Now, if you put your sword away, you can actually pick these bodies up. And drag them around and hide them. It's kind of important because the enemies uh, do uh, react to dead bodies and things. You can throw the bodies as well. I kind of remember that being a thing, but I can't remember. Ah, okay. That's how you do it. Because if you're trying to carry a body off a ledge, um, your character will fall off the ledge, but the body will fall down onto the edge of the ledge. So when I was having a fiddle around with this the other day, uh, I couldn't remember how we get bodies away from the ledge, but so that makes more sense. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we can stealth kill and choke hold, like I said. So SK is stealth kill. So the SK light is that little dot, or that little black dot in our um, just above our health bar there. Our health bar is the red bar. So we have different ways of jumping. We have the standard jump. We have the high jump, and we have the moon jump, if she's going to do it, or the moon salt, I should say. She's not actually doing it. Maybe we have to be moving whilst we do it. Uh, why, why you no do that? So, jump, high jump, 
There we go. Moon salt, yeah. It's kind of hard for some reason to pull that off. Or at least it was. It wasn't working. Now it's working fine. Alright, cool. So we can jump up onto ledges, which, you know, is pretty standard for Tenchu. Uh, we can squirrel along ledges. If we find an enemy that's a little bit too close to the ledge, we can uh, do a stealth kill from here. And we can, you know, get up. So, let's keep going. Oh, hey, sir. Oh, he's a little bit sleepy. Well, let's go permanently put him to sleep, shall we? Now, as you can see, he turned around. But there is a little bit of time where the enemy sees you and they're kind of stunned. They're shocked. You can take him out in that time. Uh, it comes, uh, <laughs> it becomes pretty bloody useful. Now, yeah, also when you're crouched, uh, not only is it harder for you to see, it stifles your footsteps as well. Now, the bar below, as the game is telling us, the bar below our health there, uh, that with the shuriken moving around in it, is our light meter. The further towards the dark side of the meter, the harder we are to see, the more it's in the light side of the meter, the easier we are to see. So, kind of very similar to Splinter Cell in that regard, actually. And we can go into first person mode, which is useful for some of the items that we get later on. But we're not going to worry too much about that. And we can use a grappling hook to get us up to these ledges as well, a little bit easier. Now, once this knob end turns around, we're going to cut his neck. Because that is what we do in Tenchu. Yeah, this game visually holds up very well, I think. Alright, let's get rid of this sack of shit. There we go. We're actually being spotted. There we go. Back outside their vision range. You get all kinds of like passive power-ups and things and whatnot later on that, uh, you know, disregard that. Now, we can actually be a bit Spider-Man-y. Uh, if I remember correctly. So we can hook to the ceiling. Yes, we can. Let's try that here. So if I remember correctly, we can do that. That didn't work. <laughs> we literally just like fell on our ass. Now, somehow, you can hook to the ceiling. And then climb around it like Spider-Man. Although, I don't remember how we do that. What does that tooltip say? These tooltips that the game gives you. Ah, we can pick up weapons off the enemies as well. Select grappling hook. Target LB to throw the hook. Hook the ceiling now. Yeah, see, it tells you to hook the ceiling, but it doesn't actually tell you uh, how that works. Yeah, okay. Not sure how that works. I'm going to have to figure that out. Stay away from the, the fire. Fire is bad. Let's go take this rube out. Now, although it's telling you, like, you know, shit to do, you don't actually have to do it. You can do this tutorial basically however you like. Get out of here. I'd love to remember how. Um to become Spider-Man. Do you have to hold the button down, maybe? No, I'm going to have to look that up because I'm not 100% sure. So, we can switch up to our secondary weapons. i just got to remember how to use them. You know, it's only been 14 years since I've played this. Is it 14 years? Well, closer to 13. Alright, let's try that again. So we can lock on with the trigger. There we go. Yep. Bows are very slow, as you can see. And they're kind of not that great. <laughs> they're really not that great. Yeah, it took like five arrows to kill the guy. But hey, you know, it's an option. Maybe we get a better bow later on. Uh, not really sure. Definitely get better weapons later on. So, anyway, so when we sheath our weapon here, we can either 
quickly open the door. We can slice the door down, or we click the stick. We can peek our little heads in and just have a little look around. And then we can open the door normally, and we should, yeah, also be able to take the door out. Uh, it's all coming back to me. It's like an old glove. So, drawn on a wall plus peeking. Yeah. So, what we can do here. Let's go get our weapon out. If we draw our weapon close to an enemy, they will hear it. So, you know. But be careful of that, yo. Alright, let's cut this guy's neck. Come on, buddy. I actually like this ninja outfit we're wearing. It's pretty damn cool. Come on, friend. Whoop. Oh, love it. Now, when this game goes right, it feels so satisfying. Oh, he's got a nice little, nice little item for us. That's a purifier, if memory serves. Like you can get, uh, you can fall into raw sewage and latrines and stuff in this game, and you get really stinky. Uh, and to counteract that, you have to either go for a swim in fresh water, or you can pour purifying goop all over you. So, you know. All right. Let's go get this guy. Hey, friend. Boom. Good night. All right. He's done. Now, we want to slide down here, but right at the bottom of this, somewhere... There's a trap. That's the stinky stuff. If we fall into this stinky stuff, we become stinky. We don't want to be stinky. You can see the stink lines coming off us. So we've just basically, you know, fallen in piss and shit. Lovely. Now we can either go for a little roll in the water or we can, yeah, use the purifier on ourselves. Now we get to the water section. If I remember. So you can see there's a floor underneath us. Um, but the floor runs out about there. Now, we can roll around in water, and that's silent. But if we don't roll, it makes noise. So, for instance, rolling into the water like that is silent. If we just run and splash, that makes noise. So, bear that in mind. Okay, so it looks like we've got an item up there. Also, we can hide in the water with our bamboo blowpipe thing yeah not sure that's gonna fool anybody but hey what do I know so that's giving us a blowpipe now this blowpipe is a one-hit kill uh, against just about any enemy I, I remember but we want to kind of hold on to the blowpipe so let's try and take this guy you can also wall run uh, I can't remember how we all run. I wonder if that's a skill. But either way, we don't have that yet. So, let's try and take this guy out. Lunja. Come on, dude. You saw nothing. Nothing at all, pal. That's right. Lunja. These guys are funny. Luckily, the AI is pretty shit. And that does play to our advantage quite a lot. Oh, it didn't work. So it didn't have any weapon out. Well, at least you get to see combat. Kind of. Now, the enemies can't, can't swim. Which is good. We also have an arrow sticking out of our shoulder, which is probably somewhat painful. Uh, okay. I think we're nearly to the end of this now. But if you're expecting like an expert playthrough or anything like that, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that hit at all. Right, this bit. So during stealth kill plus stealth kill lamp lit, keep pushing X, we'll do consecutive stealth kills. I can't remember how we do this. I think it's like that. Yeah, you've got to get the... You've got to get that just right. You have like a split second, I think, when it flashes up, where you can go straight onto the next stealth kill. Um, but I'm very much out of practice with that. Come on, dude. Let's do this. You are invincible here. So, uh, you know, 
it doesn't matter too much. Stop slicing me with your katana, sir. There you go. What do you think of mine? Mine's smaller than yours, but that's okay. It's smaller, but still does the trick. It's not how. It's not the size, guys. Come on. It's what you do with it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. No, he's sniffing the air. <laughs> so when it's orange, they can smell something. Which I always thought was quite funny. I right, just wait for this guy to go back. There we go. Stupid bastard. Good night, sir. Enjoy your death. Right, let's go hidey hide. So we can crawl around these spaces as well. Very Metal Gear, really, when you think about it. Metal Gear, it can't be. Oh, but it can. You're done, son. So, it's in. So you actually get money in this game. So it is worth killing as many enemies as you can because you get money per kill. You use money to buy things and upgrades and skills. Uh, I think he's moaning at us because we didn't do that very well. But hey, it is what it is. Oh, we didn't... Yeah, Ninja 4. I think Ninja 5... I can't remember how the ranking system works. I think Ninja 5 is the best rank. I think. I might have to look that up. Kind of... That's kind of pathetic, actually. That we, we got really shit score there. But hey, we're rusty. We'll get better. So mayhem time is how much time you were uh, alerted and in combat with the enemy. Uh, we got detected twice. Man, we got detected twice in the fucking training mission. And two normal kills. And we got 10 stealth kills. So we got a total of 890 points, which will be 890 gold, I believe. Yeah, through the one times multiplier. So if you play it on easy, you get a 0 0.9 multiplier. Uh, normal is uh, 1.0. I can't remember what the um, hard multiplier is. I think it's 1.5, something like that. But there we go. Anyway, ninja training. I'm, oh, that was pathetic. Uh, maybe we'll we'll fit all that later. Now you could actually play this. I think back in the day you could do this uh, multiplayer uh, co-op, which we never did, <laughs> but I'm sure it would have been a hell of a lot of fun. So anyway, secrets of the ninja. Practicing skills helps you complete missions. Use items to deal with difficult situations. Change your clothing for a change of pace. Yeah. So here's our ninja village. Um, yeah, the, when I read the back of the box all those years ago, which uh, I'm pretty sure it mentions a ninja village here. Yeah, maybe not. But yeah, anyway, the ninja village is basically here. Where this is the shop and where we can equip everything, skills and abilities. So we can change our physical abilities at any point, by the way, which is quite nice. Uh, we can get combos, uh, which we don't actually have any of. Not yet, anyway. We can get secret arts. Um, but again, we don't have any. So these are like kind of shortcuts that we can use. You can get very... Uh, no. You can get very powerful in this game. Now these... I think these skills here are passive. You can get stuff that like reduces your footstep noise you can get stuff that uh, reviews, uh, reduces enemy uh, vision range so you do more damage that kind of stuff um, and this is where we can buy said things these are combos that we can buy but uh, I can't really remember too much about that we're obviously going to be dabbling in all this stuff anyway now um, different skills and whatnot require different amounts of uh, vitality and agility and shit like that so you need to be a little bit mindful of that now you see where you get points to distribute there we have 210 total points that does go up 
and I can't remember how it goes up, whether it's a skill or whether as the game goes on. We can also equip items here that we can take on missions. Depending on our stats, we can take different amounts of items. At the moment, yeah, we can take seven uh, items. So whatever we find on the mission and whatever we finish the mission with, we bring back here. But as the game goes on, we can also uh, buy items as well. And there's a lot of items to buy in this game. Um, but you need a lot of money for that stuff. But you <laughs> you do get a lot of money. And the better you play and the more enemies you kill. Uh, and the more bonuses you rack up. The more money you will get. Uh, you get bonuses for like using zero uh, items in a mission. Zero detection. Killing zero um, innocent people. That kind of stuff. There's also a humongous uh, range of clothing in this game. Uh, what's interesting though is from knowledge you can't actually look at what your clothing is before you buy it so you just have to take a shot in the dark but we will get enough money eventually to you know, buy just about everything in the game now you are now one of the Azuma Ninja first mission awaits so this is where we choose our missions we have this entire map that gets filled out with uh, missions I might do some grinding and whatnot off camera but uh, as you can see we can change how many shurikens are in the side so one is easy two is medium uh, and three is hard so when we come back we're gonna go do the first mission um, I might do it on hard just to see you know uh, how hard hard actually is now here's the thing from what I can remember hard kind of wasn't that hard until a certain point <laughs> and then you really really needed to have some uh, pretty top skills otherwise it was going to be pretty uh, well hard um, so when we come back we're going to start the game and uh, hopefully this is going to be a really fun LP I'm looking forward to it anyway but if I do any grinding off camera for money or whatever I'm not going to be playing on medium because that is what we're going to be playing on I will probably do easy uh, probably won't do hard because I haven't decided whether we're going to redo the whole lot on hard once we get some pretty bit like baller skills I don't know guys you tell me but what I will say is this is a long game uh, especially if you got to play the game three times on all the difficulties. It is a very long game. I think my previous save was well, well over 100 hours. And I didn't complete the game. <laughs> now, I know I replayed levels and, and spent a lot of time grinding and just fucking around because this game was so much fun back then. Uh, but yeah, from what I remember, this is a pretty long one. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.